Greetings friends. I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to uh, go over my gear that I use for gaming and streaming on my channel uh, for those that might be interested. So here's an overall view of the setup. Currently using uh, three screens uh, and I am a big Razer fanboy. I've been using their gear for a long time. Uh, it's never failed me so it's been good to me. Here's the PC and I'll go into the detailed specs uh, for those that are interested. And if you hear some snoring in the background, this is the culprit right here. This is Yoshi. And then Jack Jack. So for the PC components, um, I am using the Corsair IQ 465X RGB Mid Tower ATX. Um, I am using a Corsair RMX 8, uh, 850X Gold Series Power Supply. The motherboard is an Asus ROG Strix Z390E Gaming. Uh, that's an LGA 1151 um, Intel board, of course. Uh, I have the Intel Core i9 9900K. Started off with the i7 9700K and, and uh, found out because of the lack of hyper threading, um, just having some performance issues trying to stream a game off the same PC. So if you're interested in that, I also have a video comparing those two chips and explaining why I switched. For memory, I have the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16 gig kit. I have two of those, so I have a total of 32 gigs. For storage, I'm using the Sam Samsung 970 Evo uh, 2 terabyte um, NVMe. I have the Corsair Hydro H150i Pro RGB. That's the triple rad cooler that you see here in the front. Um, and that is uh, cooling the, uh, the CPU loop. So airflow coming in and then the top fans and the fan in the back um, as well as the power supply fan are all blowing out. So I have airflow front and then out the back. And then as far as the video card, I have the... Uh, Asus ROG Strix 2080 Ti. So my main display is a, an Alienware AW2720HF. Uh, that's an IPS panel. Um, it's also 10, uh, 1080p, 240 hertz, and it supports both AMD FreeSync and um, NVIDIA G-Sync. The top panel is a ultra-wide Dell Alienware AW3420. This is a 34 inch curved um, LED uh, to 3440 by 1440p, uh, 4 millisecond. It's 120 hertz overclocked, uh, 100 hertz normal. And it's also a uh, NVIDIA uh, G Sync display. And then to the left, this is what I use to, you know, I have my stream elements and, and other uh, tools that are running while I'm streaming on this. This is a, a Dell Ultra, Ultra Sharp uh, U2515H. Uh, and this is just, it's a 25 inch LED um, IPS, uh, 60 hertz, but it is also a 1440p. Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, um, and I'm using the, uh, the wrist rest, so it's got the RGB all the way around. Um, I have two mice, so depending on the game I'm playing, if I need to use a lot of buttons, uh, like an MMO or... Uh, even with Wolcene and Diablo, sometimes it's good to have those extra buttons. Um, I'll use the the Razer Naga Trinity, um, and of course it's RGB. And then for FPS and other games where I need something that's a little bit more agile, I have the Razer Lancehead Tournament Edition, uh, also RGB. The mouse pad is the uh, Razer Sphinx V2, so super thin, and it's got like a a super sticky back on it so it does not move. I have a couple of the Razer bungees to uh, hold the cords on there. Uh, then behind that I have the uh, Razer Base Station Chroma which is just a USB uh, and that, that holds the uh, the headphones which are the Razer Man of War um, 7.1s uh, and that's where I keep them uh, so that they can charge. For external speakers a um, little hard to see on here, but I have the, the Razer Leviathan um, Dolby 5.1. So the sound bar is right here, and then underneath the desk is the, uh, the subwoofer. The Yeti Nano Blackout. Um, I've used some other Yetis in the past. Uh, 
this smaller form factor um, and having the uh, the blackout um, is uh, really nice it's you know it's not so bulky and definitely not as heavy as the full-size Yetis and then I just have like a generic um, short boom mic that attaches to the desk and uh, I can uh, adjust that and keep it right uh, where I need it so that I can still see the keyboard and it's not in my way then behind that you'll see is my uh, my Elgato Stream Deck. It's the 15 button. Um, that's what I use for scene transitions to control the, my hue lights here in the main cave. And then I can also do some, I've got some other macros and, and things set on there like mic mute. Tripod is normally where I have my main streaming camera. Um, I'm currently using that <laughs> to film on right now. But you can see in the gear list here it's the Canon EOS M50. Um, I used to have the T5i Rebel. Um, it's about five or six years old. It didn't have a clean HDMI output. If you know anything about streaming cameras, if you don't have a, a clean HDMI output, um, it just doesn't work well. Or if you can't keep it from going into power saving mode, um, or if it had any, you know has any cropping issues, doesn't give you a full 1080p, um, which that camera didn't. Uh, it's it's not uh, that great. And then I have the that plugged into the the Corsair, uh, the Elgato CamLink 4K which is uh, USB um, 3 and uh, to HDMI, and that's plugged into the back of the PC. And then the last piece of uh, uh, peripheral equipment I have is the um, Logitech 9220, and that is what I use um, for a secondary camera. And that is pointed at the chairs in front of the TV, because that's normally where the dogs hang out, so I can... Uh, show them on the stream uh, when I am away or, or you know my BRB or my starting soon you'll see that on there so that's an overview of my streaming and gaming uh, gear um, any questions that you have about any of it please let me know if you have any suggestions uh, please uh, please drop them below uh, I really appreciate it thanks